hi friends welcome back this lecture is about altimeter setting procedure before going for flying we have to set the altimeter altimeter is a device which gives vertical distance from a reference known as totem we need to understand that height of aircraft should be determined with accuracy it will serve two purposes clearance from the obstacles and separation from other aircraft so the altimeter setting is very crucial and we should understand all terms with exact meanings indicated altitude indicated altitude is what we can see on our instruments indicated altitude is a vertical distance above the mean sea level remember that a reference datum for indicated altitude is mean sea level elevation is the term used for stationary objects like hills or air field whose vertical distance is measured from mean sea level remember again that reference datum for elevation is mean sea level term elevation is used for stationary natural objects height is the vertical distance measured from ground level remember reference datum height is ground or surface term height is used for man made objects over the surface of earth atmospheric conditions vary from one place to another and can cause weather variations turbulence and other situations that affect the conduct of a flight therefore in the aeronautical sector an average standard of the ideal atmospheric conditions for air operations have been established this is called international standard atmosphere isa air pressure in the isa is 1013 hectopascal the pressure decreases with altitude at about 1 hectopascal pressure drops to 30 feet gain in height in the lower levels of atmosphere air temperature in the isa is plus 15 degrees celsius at mean sea level and decreases at approximately 2 degrees celsius per 1000 feet gain in altitude remember that indicated altitude is vertical distance from mean sea level thus from mean sea level our vertical distance is 6000 feet pressure altitude it is the vertical distance measured from pressure datum reference of 1013 decimal 2 hectopascal that is standard isa to understand the difference between indicated altitude and pressure altitude let's start this exercise before that we have to remember that reference datum for indicated altitude is mean sea level reference datum for pressure altitude is isa 1013 decimal 25 hectopascal pressure drops at about 1 hectopascal per 30 feet gain in height in lower levels of atmosphere so in this example we have a vertical distance from mean sea level that is 6000 feet so it is a indicated altitude 6000 feet now we have to calculate the pressure difference between standard and mean sea level so pressure difference between standard is 1013 minus mean sea level pressure is 1000 hectopascal so it comes out to be 13 hectopascal once pressure difference is known we know that pressure drops at about 1 hectopascal per 30 feet gain in height so 1 hectopascal is equals to 30 feet so 13 hectopascal pressure will corresponds to 13 multiplied by 30 feet which comes out to be 390 feet so the vertical distance from standard pressure setting of 1013 is 6000 feet plus 390 feet so our pressure altitude is 6390 feet now pressure altitude is known as flight levels vertical height of aircraft should be reported as flight level above transition altitude so here the datum is standard 1013 and vertical height of aircraft should be reported as altitude below transition altitude here the datum is msl mean sea level so here we have understood about two new terms 
flight level and altitude and we will discuss about transition altitude and related terms shortly now we will discuss about the instrument used for measuring vertical distance there are four main types of altimeter barometric altimeter radio altimeter gnss altimeter and laser altimeter let's discuss the basic principle of altimeter an altimeter measures the atmospheric pressure which reduces with increase in height and displays it in terms of vertical distance in feet static pressure is fed to the sealed case of the instrument main components of instruments are evacuated metal capsule held by a leaf spring connected linkages pointers and a dial mechanical linkages magnifies the expansion or contraction of capsule and convert linear movement to rotational movement of a pointer over a dial as a craft climbs static pressure inside the case falls and as a result the capsule expands under the control of the leaf spring expansion of capsule is indicated as increase in altitude by movement of pointer against a dial radio altimeter are based on the principle of reflection of electromagnetic wave pulses by the surface of earth or sea these waves fall within the radio spectrum range electromagnetic wave travels at the speed of light and thus the calculation of the distance is effectively immediate although they are affected by surface irregularities generating deviations in the radio signals radio altimeters provide a reliable and accurate method of measuring height the time delay between transmission and reflected wave is too short to be able to use a single antenna for both functions two antennas are therefore required which must be physically separated in order to avoid interference the pressure altimeter dis display instrument has five essential parts dial which indicates altitude small needle which indicates 100 feet pointer long needle is a 100 feet pointer pressure setting knob coltsman window Coltsman window is located at three o'clock position on the altimeter dial. The window allows access to read a sub dial, which contains the barometric readings. QFE is air field bottom pressure. When set on Coltsman window subscale with aircraft on ground, altimeter will read zero. And once airborne. it would indicate in vicinity of the airfield height above the airfield above ground level it is used by trainee pilots for circuit flying so qfe reference is surface now how we can find qfe at a particular airport use pressure setting knob until we get zero feet check the reading in coltsman window corresponds to zero altitude this is a room pressure so we have calculated qfe qnh is the mean sea level pressure computed from the air field pressure assuming isa conditions from elevation of air field to mean sea level in other words a field pressure brought down to mean sea level pressure so once we are aware of airport pressure we will use hectopascal to feed conversion and using airdrome elevation we will derive qnh value so in this case we have qfe 905 hectopascal and aerodrome elevation 3000 feet we know that 1 hectopascal is corresponds to 30 feet to calculate here we have to brought down air field pressure to mean sea level pressure elevation is from mean sea level so airport elevation divided by 30 feet will give 100 hectopascals so qnh will be 995 hectopascal which is the air field pressure plus we have derived the pressure difference from the air field elevation 
it comes out to be 100 hectopascal. So uh, adding 995 plus 100 hectopascal, it comes out to be 1005. So we have derived our QNH. QNE or standard setting 1013 decimal 2 hectopascal when set on the subscale, altimeter indicates pressure altitudes. So now we remember that pressure altitudes are equals to flight levels. And that is the vertical separation above pressure level of 1013 hectopascal. And this is used for flying above transition levels. Now we have summarized all points which we have discussed earlier. QFE, it's field elevation. A reference datum is runway. It's applicable specific to aerodrome and it's nearby. And it is height above ground level. That is AGL. QNH, you can remember is as nautical height. Reference datum is mean sea level. It is applicable to a specific aerodrome and within 25 nautical mile from the IRP. And it is below transition level. Vertical height are in terms of altitude. QNE, it is international standard. Reference datum is 1013 decimal 25 hectopascal. It is applicable above transition altitude, vertical height in terms of flight levels. Transition altitude is the highest altitude below which the vertical position of an aircraft is controlled by reference to mean sea level pressure. That is, altimeter is set on local QNH. Here, our concern is obstacles in and around the airport during climb and descent phases. We have understood that all obstacles are represented on chart as elevation. And for elevation, the reference is mean sea level. Transition altitude, we have already discussed. Now we will discuss about transition level. So transition level, it is the lowest flight level above which the vertical position of an aircraft is controlled by reference to pressure datum of 1013 decimal 2 hectopascal. This is also expressed in hundred of feet as in case of flight levels. Here, our concern is not obstacles as we are flying quite high, but we need all aircraft should have a common reference such as 1013 for the purpose of separation with all in route aircraft. Transition altitudes are published in approach charts, sits and starts. Transition level is provided by a traffic controller. The airspace between transition altitude and transition level is transition layer. Now we will discuss about the altimeter setting procedures while passing through the transition layer. Vertical position of aircraft is expressed in terms of altitude when descending and in terms of flight level when climbing above transition altitude. For departure, a QNH altimeter setting is made available by ATC to aircraft during taxi clearance prior to takeoff. Altimeter setting for departure. Set QNH at the time of startup or taxi. Change from QNH to international standard 1013 decimal 2 hectopascal when climbing, passing transition altitude. Altimeter setting procedure during end road, the cruising level at which a flight or a portion of a flight is to be conducted shall be expressed in terms of flight level when operated above the transition altitude. Altimeter setting during approach and landing. A QNH altimeter setting and transition levels are made available in approach clearance and in clearance to enter the traffic circuit. Altimeter setting during arrival above transition level keep altimeter setting at 1013 decimal 2 hectopascal and while descending passing transition level change 
स्टैंडर्ड प्रेशर सेटिंग टू क्यून सेटिंग ना हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ट्रांजिशन लेवल ट्रांजिशन एल्टीट्यूड इज पब्लिश इन अप्रोच चार्ट एंड देर इज ए कैलकुलेशन फॉर ट्रांजिशन लेवल ट्रांजिशन लेवल फॉर्मुला इज इक्वल्स टू ट्रांजिशन एल्टीट्यूड प्लस ट्रांजिशन लेयर प्लस वन जीरो वन थ्री डेसी वन जीरो टू हेक्टर पासकल माइनस द क्यू एन एच दिस विल बी मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी सिक्स डेसीमल सेवन एंड दिस होल विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड देर आफ्टर वॉट एवर वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग वी हैव टू राउंड अप टू द नेक्स्ट वी एफ आर और आई एफ आर लेवल सो ट्रांजिशन लेयर इज इक्वल टू ट्रांजिशन एल्टीट्यूड फाइव थाउजेंड फीट प्लस ट्रांजिशन लेयर विच इज थाउजेंड फीट प्लस वन जीरो वन थ्री डेसीमल टू माइनस क्यू एन एच क्यू एन एच वी हैव गिवन nine and nine six multiply by 26 decimal 7 and this whole will be divided by 100 so the result is 64 decimal 5924 so we have to round off this to the nearest vfr or ifr level so the nearest level will be vfr level and that will be 65 so our transition level in this case will be 65 so if we keep changing the qnh we will get different transition levels for a example the different values of transition level corresponding to the qnh are suppose if uh, 5000 feet mean sea level is published as a transition altitude and we will use this and local qnh so qnh values between 9 and 6 to 1013 will give transition level 65 that was our example which we have previously solved and If the QNH is below 9.6 hectare Pascal, it is 9.5, 9.4. This transition level will become flight level 70. And when the QNH is above 1.013, that is 1.014, our transition level will become flight level 60. Hope you have found it useful. And uh, next will be slightly advanced lecture on uh, altimeter setting, which uh, we will deliver soon. Thanks for listening and watching. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.